the single eye set it, okay he did with uh that he did with jeffree star first started off off can't speak at all today hello my beautiful babes what is up it's brandy welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here in today's video i'm going to be giving my first impressions on the blood money palette i am so excited to be doing this if you guys are interested in my thoughts and opinions on this then please keep on watching now for those of you who do not know i recently got this in my summer supreme mystery box if you guys haven't checked out that video i'll have that link down below in the description box but i've been dying to play with this palette ever since this is so beautiful all the little stamps in here are truly gorgeous as always i'm going to be using my beautiful bling brushes to apply my makeup i think i'm going to try to stick to the light to medium shades but we'll see how that goes <laughs> the first shade i'm going to be taking is the one all the way technically up here it's called make it rain i'm just flipping it down here so you guys don't get blinded I blinded myself <laughs> before. <laughs> I'm going to be applying that on in E13 and I'm going to take this all into the crease. Now at the last second I did decide that I wanted to drag this out a little bit so that's why they slightly look a little bit different because this one is a little bit more rounded. It got a little bit on the outer lid but you know what it's okay but now i'm gonna take chameleon fetish Ooh, that is so bright she's gonna look so pretty and i'm gonna take that on and e oh my goodness e24 i couldn't see it with the light <laughs> and i'm gonna use this to blend out the edges of the crease Now, moving on to the next shade, I'm going to dip into this one over here called Equity. Applying that on in E22, I'm going to focus this on the outer half of my lid and crease. Hmm. I swatched this shade. <laughs> I don't see that much of a difference from Make It Rain right now. I mean, I know that there is, but I don't see it at the moment. <laughs> well, let's just see what happens when I build it up. Alright, this, <laughs> it's very subtle. She is there. That difference is there, but I couldn't even tell at first wow so i went back with the shade make it rain and chameleon just so that everything blended together a lot nicer than how it was looking before i think i'm going to lightly dip into the shade down here which is called self-made with that same e22 brush oh my gosh that's even worse that's even worse do not do that do not do that scratch that idea that was horrible no i'm just going to take my magic star concealer and my e16 brush and do hmm a full cut crease that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> scratch that i'm gonna do a quarter cut crease i know i'm all over the place today i am so indecisive <laughs> for my favorite part because we all know i love my shimmers and glitters i'm gonna dip into the shade poison ivy first taking that on in e14 i'm gonna put this in the inner half of the lid oh my gosh that's so beautiful every time i kept building it up it just got brighter what the heck all right so now moving on to the next shade i'm gonna dip into this one over here called money heist I'm going to use the same brush that I used before, but I'm going to flip it over, tap off the excess, and I'm going to place this on the rest of the concealer. 
so with the shade money heist i will say <laughs> if you're going to be using this shade i definitely recommend using your finger or if you're going to be using a brush like i did then definitely put some powder down because i got some fallout <laughs> that i didn't even realize that i had and she is not coming off she is in this skin it's not that big of a deal to me but I know for some they don't like it and I'm like that like if I was going out I'll be like oh no I'm pissed but I'm just filming for you guys it's not that big of a deal to me right now <laughs> but just letting you guys know and if the shade money heist gets like completely on the lid no worries just go back in with the E22 that has the shade equity and just lightly do that little tiny edge to blend for the bottom lashes I think I'm just gonna dip into the shade self-made on an E22 I'm also going to take another E22 and lightly dip into the shade Chameleon Fetish. I'm like choking <coughs> on what? I don't know. Oh, I'm crying. But I'm just going to use that to blend the edges of the lower lash line. Oh my goodness. I don't know what just happened to me. <laughs> I can't decide if I want CEO or tax free for the inner corner. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go in with the shade CEO. Oh my goodness, that was like butter. <laughs> I'm gonna take that on an E26. Place this in the inner corner. Holy cow. <laughs> that had so much more pigment than what i was expecting next i'm going to take the shade divine and what the heck is that oh yeah okay divine intervention and i'm going to apply that on an e7 brush but i'm going to use this to highlight the brow bone wow i took way too much <laughs> oh my goodness that is so pretty this is basically it for the eyes. I'm just debating if I want to do a graphic liner and if so, do I want it to be black or brown? So I don't know. I'm debating on that because <laughs> if I don't do it right, this will be ruined. <laughs> so I'm going to think about that a little bit more, but while I do that, I'm just going to quickly hop off camera and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Now obviously, as you guys can tell, I did not add any wing or graphic liner. I wanted to keep this very simple. I really love how bright this is. Like, holy cow. Now, for my mascara, because we don't have any false lashes on, I am wearing the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. Moving on to... The eyes. I did add some eyeliner. Now we do have to talk about this. <laughs> I struggled so much. It's kind of ridiculous. I tried to give this another go. This is the Jeffree Star Armored Truck Automatic Eyeliner. This isn't my first time using it. This is my second time and <sighs> I I, I I'm going to purchase another eyeliner in the future because I just really pray and hope and really believe that this is just a dud because today she was not having it. I went over and over probably about like 10 to 15 times and my waterline was actually starting to hurt me. That's how hard I was trying to make this work. And it just wasn't. So I just went in with my ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie. This is in the shade Woodsy. Moving on to the lips, I decided to switch things up. Nothing crazy, still with Jeffree Star, <laughs> obviously. 
but I decided to go back with my velour liquid lipsticks I feel like I haven't used them for such a very long time and if you guys have seen my lip swatching video you guys know that I have like 70 plus lipsticks that I have to go through. Also, if you guys are interested in that lip swatching video, I'll have that link down below in the description for you guys. Now, I started off with the shade Tea Bag, which she is basically done. I legit has scrapped the edges just to apply this. <laughs> and then in the center, I used the shade Mannequin for the gloss. I have been using this shade so much i used safe word she has been my go-to so beautiful and with my tan it complements me so well it's simple i love it now for my highlight i mixed two different shades i started off with the shade divine intervention which is this bad boy all the way down here and then i went in with my jeffree star skin frost highlighter in the shade sarcophagus and then i went back in with the shade divine intervention yes that is a lot <laughs> it came out so beautiful it kind of gives me this light green slash gold moment that i am living for for my thoughts on the blood money palette <sighs> packaging wise this is gorgeous this uh, this has to be one of my top favorite packaging moments from jeffree star it's so simple but it's gorgeous i personally don't dip into greens all that often but if you love green this is the palette for you you have so many options here it's every like green girl's dream i'm hoping that with this new palette and with even more possibilities that it'll make me want to play and experiment more with green but yeah you guys that's basically it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well as hang the notification bell as always every product used today will be linked down below in the description box i love you guys so so much and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys